Today on the channel from WWE Mattel Elite Series 106, we got Sami Zayn. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite unboxing and review and today on the channel from Elite 106 we got Sami Zayn but for all your Sami Zayn needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and of course Sami Zayn a part of Elite 106 an interesting one as we close off of course, 2023 in the Elite Department. A lot of people have these on their best of list. Some people won't because technically to me, it is a 2024 release as these shouldn't be hitting the retail stores until 2024. So it's one of those weird cutoffs we always get at the end of every single year here. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Sami Zayn at an all-time level of popularity for him uh, in the last year or so, especially about a year year ago right now he was at his absolute zenith turning on the bloodline or being kicked out of the bloodline however you want to face it out there really quite the story arc and really riveting television as a lot of us do remember of course uh, it is unfortunate he didn't get to go to wrestlemania in the main event but he did have a pretty high profile match at wrestlemania and i was there if you guys remember that so Sami Zayn, an all-timer Definitely needed this figure out as it feels a little late at this point, but we know how it works with Mattel. It's there's time, you know, it takes time to get these things going. So Sami Zayn coming in hot from 106 here today, but let's dive into it. Let's take a look at the packaging. We're getting used to this packaging. We're starting to understand it. We're starting to have it click in our head, but we got Sami Zayn right there. Sami Zayn on the side, big WWE logo. Of course, little window box and you got a little spot up top over there to let the light in WWE Elite. Sami Zayn looking just happy, looking like a little bit of a lumberjack. Kind of looks like that lumberjack from uh, one of those old uh, Rankin Bass films. I forget what it was. Was it like uh, the guy with the tooth he had to get pulled out or something? You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Tis the season, as they say. Uh, on this side here, you got Sami Zayn Elite Certified Authentic WWE Product. On the bottom, we got the big cross sell. We're unboxing every single one of those on the channel. So check out those other videos. And then at the very end, we're going to rank the entire way from my least favorite to my favorite. And unbox the Paul Bearer Chase Edition. We got a little blurb right there, a little tail of the tape, Sami Zayn, a little glamour shot, see what it says about our old friend, Sam Zayn. Yes, Sam Zayn. Uh, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Beautiful this time of year. A lot of French speaking going on up there, as we do know. Height, six foot one, 212 pounds. Finisher, the Haluva Kick, an all-timer of a name, if you ask me. And then it does say, after freeing himself from the abusive Roman Reigns. All oh, those abusers. Always tough to free yourself, but when you get out, you get out. That's for sure. Uh, Sami Uso was no more. Back with the purpose of ending the bloodline was Sami Zayn. And his career highlight, undisputed WWE Tag Team Champion, Intercontinental Champion, NXT Champion, of course. And Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, Chad, Chad Gable, Paul Bearer, Roxanne Perez. A very diverse lineup, no doubt about it. No tag team title belt with this one. Could would have been kind of nice, but it is what it is. Do not have that. Nothing going on right here, so we're giving the old see you later goodbye. We got old Sami Zayn. No twist ties. Oh, he's got twist ties on the arms. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Time for the hardest working scissors in the action figure game to get involved. Take care of these twist ties. Maybe take care of my fingers at the same time. You never know how it might go. You're always a second away from tragedy. You're always a second away from stitches on your hands. If I can get in here, there we go. All right, now, now business is picking up here. Sami Zayn coming on out. Hands, come on, hands, the hands have it. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's dive in here. Sami Zayn, not a lot with this figure here. A little of this, a little of that, and a whole lot of the other, it looks like, if you ask me. But we do get two gripping hands out of the package. Seen him before for Sammy. We'll see him again. Uh, got the white hand tape, wrist tape on him as well. So definitely Sammy Zane hands at the end of the day. But now we dive into old Sammy Zane. What is old is new again. We're very used to this body style for Sammy Zane over the years. We've had a lot of this, but we do get a new head sculpt on him here. 
a little dark in the beard, especially the mustache and around here. I mean, he's pretty red for the most part. It's a little darkened up. I think it's a little too dark. Uh, his hair's got a nice redness too, but once again, I feel like all the hair, facial hair included, is a little dark for Sami Zayn. Maybe it's just me. Maybe his hair's wetted down, his mustache and beard's wetted down. I don't know. Uh, but a little, little dark. I think it should have been a little bit brighter, a little bit more orange. Uh, but to each their own, as we do say on that. But it definitely looks like Sami Zayn. You see this, you know who it is. It almost looks like he's kind of biting on his tongue. Like he's his tongue out like that it kind of looks that way i think that's supposed to be his lip though but like i said definitely sammy zane at the end of the day you know who that is he does have the sammy uso shirt on and then you got zane right over the uso oh what a story arc as we mentioned earlier uh one of the all-time best story arcs in the wwe it's it's crazy to think here we are so many years of history uh, one of the best ones was just recently. So uh, it's one of those things, little kids, uh, like I talk about Warrior Hogan and people before me talk about Andre and Hogan. Uh, there'll be people talking about the bloodline Sami Zayn. You know, it was just crazy. Time marches on. Time waits for no one. What is time, as some do say as well? Uh, but Sami Zayn looking good in the Sami Uso shirt. Always like the shirts on these. Of course, Velcro shirt, easy to remove. Uh, we're used to that by now as well. Love the easy removability of the shirt here. Sami Zayn looking good. And then you get Sami in all of his, uh, his wrestling gear, I guess. Just his long pants, no shirt. He's ready to wrestle. Always a little bit big in the hips and a little bit skinnier in the waist. I mean, he is kind of like that. But it could be just a little wider in the waist, if you ask me. But not bad at all. Not bad at all. It looks like Sami Zayn for the most part for me. White wrist tape going on. Two fists of fury. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. Got the long kind of pants going on on the side. It does say Sammy Uso. Once again, Zayn over that. White and black attack on the boots. Looking very good. Pockets uh, sculpted into the boots or into the pants as well. Uh, looking good throughout. And, of course, articulation. Head side to side, back and forth. Head should be removable. Head is removable, so if you want to mix and match and do some different things, you could easily do that if you wanted to. Arms all the way around, bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows, hits being played right here at the table. Hands, like I talked about, back and forth, side to side, removable. Two fists of Sami Zayn Fury. Got a nice tight ab crunch on him, love that. Waist articulation. Big ol' Sami Zayn splits if you do need them. You got the thigh cut, double jointed knees, they are not pinless here. Boot cut. Ankles up and down, side to side, back and forth. Usual Mattel articulation holding tight right here. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. I believe the stands are stuck in the Panama Canal. I've heard that. That's the rumor going around. Uh, so another delay out there. Somebody get water to Panama. Somebody call Van Halen. Somebody call David Lee Roth. We'll do whatever we can. But he does fit on there very well. So old Sammy... Don't call him Uso, call him Sami Zayn, rides again into the Elite line. And I believe the last Elite figure we had of Sami Zayn was from the WrestleMania before. So he's getting all these WrestleMania-related figures here. Very similar, of course, figure as you could imagine it to be. A lot of reuse between these two, a ton of reuse between these two, on all honesty. Honestly, a little bit just different paint job on the pants. Uh, definitely different heads here. A very goofy head here, of course. This was part of the Johnny Knoxville match. This is a little bit serious, a little bit more serious here. But uh, a good Sami Zayn. At the end of the day, a tip-top guy, a guy that's been on TV all the time, a guy that we need more action figures from. And even though we have a few, quite a few elites and basics, it feel, still feels like maybe we're a couple of Sami Zayn short as long as he's been around and been on TV and been a part of a lot of different angles. Feels like there should be a more, uh, a few more Sami Zayn's, but there's a lot of rumors he is going to be an Ultimate Edition, an Ultimate uh, Edition Series 21. So that'll be a, a much welcome uh, gift from the Mattel gods, I guess we'll call it that one. But for what it is, is it going to be the best of the line? Probably not. Probably somewhere in the middle. We'll see how it shakes out, of course, at the end of the week when we rank and review the entire wave. But there it is, Sami Zayn 106. What are your guys' thoughts? Pick up, pass, not sure, long game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. And of course, don't forget about Patreon. Is Patreon early access to both YouTube channels. Make sure you subscribe to both of them. But Patreon members do get early access to all those videos, plus bonus content over there on Patreon. And best of all, you support the channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for Sammy Zane, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.